Team World, today I'm going to demonstrate the Trust Center. The Trust Center is something that we developed early on with Apertus. It's something that uh, we, we found that when we were, when we first started creating etchings and we first created a, a real-time indexer that was uh, consuming uh, those etchings and displaying them as, uh, as results, we, we found that uh, we could have, uh, we opened up a, a very severe vulnerability. Uh, whereas someone could basically send any number of uh, malicious scripts and our indexer would have automatically just kind of uh, executed them. So we needed to figure out a way to get around that and what we developed was the Trust Center. And what the Trust Center is, is it, uh, it's basically a white and black list uh, of things to trust and things to block. And to get to it, uh, you wanna go to Settings, Trust Center, and it will open up. You can see here there is a trusted list and a blocked list. Uh, we have quite a few things on the trusted list. Actually, nothing at all on the blocked list right at the moment. Uh, the Trust Center works in conjunction with the filter option, which can be found here on the main screen. Uh, the filter option is on by default, uh, and we recommend it, that it stay on, uh, especially if you're monitoring, uh, because when you're monitoring, things come in in real time without a filter associated then uh, you could uh, malicious code could basically uh, be picked up and it could be executed on your on your workstation. So it's very important that you keep this filter box checked. Uh, this filter box works with the trust center in that anything that is has been added to the trusted list, any signature that's been added here, uh, will bypass the filter. Uh, so a signatures can be found uh, on any document. Uh, you'll see if something's signed, it'll say signed by with an address. To trust someone, you can copy the address, uh, move it over to the trust center, paste it into the top box and hit the plus sign. If you want to untrust someone, you'll have to take the address, open up the trust center and hit the minus sign. It'll, it will take them off. Uh, you'll notice that the accept all content from trusted list is checked. Uh, this is on by default. Uh, with this with this off, uh, nothing. Uh, this has no effect. With it checked, anyone on this list uh, will be trusted, so their content will come through without any filtering associated at all. Uh, the block list is uh, basically the opposite of the trust list. Anything that's on this list, uh, it will uh, it will it will prevent any data at all of, uh, associated from that signature to uh, come on to your computer. Uh, so to demonstrate that, I'm going to just move a signature here onto my block list. And you can notice that the block all content from block address list is checked, and this is checked by default. Uh, once, it's, once this is on here, uh, I'm going to find an, uh, uh, an etching that has already been uh, uh, indexed, and I'm going to uh, rebuild it but I'm going to rebuild it uh, after I've already said that I'm blocking the signature to give you an idea of what would happen if something came through and it was blocked. So I'm going to rebuild this and you rebuild something uh, by, hitting, by holding down control and hitting enter with the transaction ID in the search box. It should take a few seconds. You hear a beep. All right, it's rebuilt. Uh, the screen doesn't automatically refresh. To, so to show you, I'm going to back and then go forward again. And you can see that now that that, con now that content that used to be displayed has been blocked. Uh, to get that to, to show back, we'll remove this one from the list. We'll build it again. And now you can see that the content has returned. So it's, it's that simple. Uh, there is a few other options within the Trust Center. Uh, you, you also have the, the option to block all untrusted content. Uh, and the way that functions, if this is checked, then if the address isn't on this list, then it cannot come through. Uh, so it basically uh, blocks everything except for what's trusted, uh, self-explanatory. And then block all unsigned content. If that is checked, uh, then anything that isn't signed, doesn't have a signature, is blocked. That's kind of important because if it isn't signed, uh, then there really is no way to, uh, to, to, base, to, to filter someone out unless you filter out all things that aren't signed uh, because it's the signature that creates the unique identity uh, that allows you to do the filtering. So we're gonna keep this one uh, checked. However, if, you're, if you have your filter on and you're real-time monitoring, it, it should be safe uh, for that to come through because anything uh, coming through with the filter on 
uh, within the message, it is uh, basically converting anything that's in here into uh, HTML friendly string. So it's converting all scripts to, to the HTML representation of that. And in doing so, it basically uh, removes any scripting content in there. Uh, and then similar to, uh, to that, any file types, any extensions that are known to be able to contain any type of payloads, uh, basically really anything other than uh, text files and uh, uh, JPEGs and a few other file types, waves, things like that, Everything besides of maybe six or seven file types is uh, by default uh, filtered out. So what you'll see is you'll just see the file name. You won't actually the file itself won't actually be downloaded, uh, and that's what that's what happens uh, by default with the filter box checked. So that is the Trust Center. Uh, its main function is to uh, allow you to uh, is to allow other users to trust uh, what you have. Uh, put out into the world. And thanks very much for your time and have a great day.